Hello everybody, welcome back to the James Lawrence All Court channel. I am currently in Brussels with my boy, Flav, my other boy, <laughs> Sam. If you don't know by now, we're driving to Russia. First stop's Brussels, we've just been in a bar that had Moroccan fans, Iran fans, Portugal fans, and Spanish fans. Melting pots, I might say. Uh, it was, really was a smorgasbord of uh, the Group B. And <laughs> and what two, like, if anyone was watching it and able to see it with two screens on at the same time, that game was insane. Uh, that's the way to watch football, <laughs> to watch both games at the same yeah. time. Yeah, it was a little bit of VAR overload yeah, at the end though, the, wasn't it? There was two, two instances of VAR right at the end where Spain got awarded their goal and Iran got awarded a penalty exactly the same moment. It's incredible. Yeah, absolutely. What? What? That's why you play the last game at the same time. That's how it works. Yeah. Let's dive into it a little bit, which is difficult because when you're watching two games, you, you kind of. I think you're missing a little bit of the nuances of it all. But first of all, oh, you know what? let's let's start kind of boringly. Portugal get it done, don't they? They just they get they, the job yeah, done. Yeah, they do get it done, but it's. it's that, there's nothing in them that was impressive enough to see that they're going to do it. I know there was it was comparable in the in the Euros, but they're they're, they're average. At you best. can't say and that you can't it. say that Portugal get it done there. Ronaldo should have been sent off. I'm a big Ronaldo fan. He should have got sent off. Iran were clearly the better team yeah. over the 90 minutes. They were shagged by the end of it though. Yeah, but they still had that one chance right there. You thought he went in. Oh, I did. You celebrated. Yeah. You thought he went in as well. Watch the Bull Street vlog of our first day, our lead up to the Belgian game, which is where we're heading to. We're heading to Kaliningrad because you will see that moment where <laughs> they were through. Iran were through, and everything that they worked for, they bled for, they deserved. They worked so. They worked so hard. There was a moment where the left back went ran down the line and ran like that because he wanted it so badly and they nearly got what they felt they deserved oh, and he I mean, hit the I, side net. They did deserve it and, uh, and it would have been an incredibly poetic and uh, romantic way to end uh, you know, the, the, a game that they, they deserved to win really yeah. and you know if they had won it they would have been through to the second round. But yeah Ronaldo should have been sent off by the way. Yeah he should have been. Yeah he should have been. He got very very lucky with that and then and they went to VAR and he still didn't send him off gave him a bookie. Flav said at the time he said look he's going to bottle this and he did. Because yeah, it's Ronaldo isn't it and it's, it's like he's a big deal. It's absolutely and nothing to do with like, Ronaldo it's just a ref bottling the decision what's it got to do with being in Ronaldo? Do you think that, they, that was Fabian yeah, yeah. Delph that he wouldn't have sent him off? What? Oh, okay one hundred. Yeah, we're, we're wicked. Get yeah, a hypothetical sent. situation out of no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks Flav. <laughs> <laughs> you've, done, you've done him again. <laughs> I mean, he should have been sent off, but he gets away with it. But the one thing Portugal do have that that grit and determination. That, that I think sometimes you have like two you have two tournaments where you've you win the first one, you've still got that kind of hunger to go and win the other tournament, be it a Euros and a World Cup or a yeah. World Cup and Euros. And Portugal have got that to get them pretty they've, far in this competition. Grit. They've got grit. There's very very little quality there. Ronaldo aside, you know. Hey. Hey. Hello. <laughs> hey. Uh, finally, let's talk about Spain. What's the problem with Spain? So, uh, drew the first game, played all right. I think Second game, the, couldn't, the, couldn't get past the round, really. It's a weird one. Mm, I wonder what the problem with Spain is. I mean, nothing happened to them before the World Cup started. You know, sacking their manager two days before and getting Fernando Hierro in. You know, no offence to Fernando Hierro, but Lopetegui had 20 odd games unbeaten. But it's Spain it's not were... like they haven't played well. It's not like no, they don't... It is like they haven't played well, man. They drew against Morocco, they drew against Portugal, and they just about beat Iran. Well, they, they played, I'm sorry. They played excellently against uh, uh, Portugal. What, drew three all? Yeah, they drew three all. Like in the middle, man. Yeah. But there's, uh, there's <laughs> a, a on the pitch, though, on the pitch, right? When it comes Spain, to Spain, Spain have been a lot better than they are right now. Everybody can admit that. They won two back-to-back -back Euros and a World Cup in between. I right now, football's... they're just about getting out of a group with Iran, Morocco and Portugal. Do you know what, though? I don't think you can truly judge Spain until they play someone who actually comes and plays a proper game of football against them. That's, but I guess that's part of it. You've got to navigate these other teams that try and frustrate you. Morocco did well. Great goal for the second goal. Deserved a, deserved at least a draw. Great goals by Spain as well, actually, to be fair. Best goal of all of it, Caresma. Outside the right book. Filthy. Boot. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. But Spain is, look, Spain is struggling. Maybe I'll, maybe I need to talk about this in more depth uh, on the channel, and I will do. We need to get home. It's been a long day. But let me know in the comments why a Spain... Well, a longer day tomorrow. But even longer day Excuse tomorrow, we're going to Berlin. Yeah, there's uh, some, some vehicles here. Right? Tell me, guys, let me know why a Spain struggling so much in this World Cup to break teams down. Let me know in the comments below. If you're new to this channel, it's not normally like this. I'm normally like in a settled position, but fortunately I've got my boys Flav and Sam to join me today. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Hit the like button. It all helps. I'll see you soon.